my first outfit of the day, I thought I would just show you what I'm wearing today. So I've got this NY hat on that I've had for a while. You just get them in JD Sports or wherever. Um, I do need to get a new one because this one is fading from where I was wearing it in the sunshine whilst on holiday. I have this all-in-one, which I absolutely love. It's this gorgeous green. In fact, you would have seen me wear this at um, the Beautiful People Festival. This is what I wore. Um, so yeah, it's just an all-in-one there. And then I've got this vintage Aqua Scutum. Don't mind the ticket that I couldn't be bothered to pull out when I got it dry cleaned last. Um, but anyway, it's a vintage Aqua Scutum trench. And then I've got on my Puma socks and I'll put my trainers on. And that is the look and the vibe for today. It's comfy, it's sexy, it's not trying too hard. I love it. And the worst vlogger award goes to Kelly. No, happy Sunday, guys. We are being very London today and um, we're on our way to Borough Market. Alex fancied some oysters and we've just got some coffee, which to me is just like screams. Oh, wanna be that typical Londoner, but yeah, that's what we are today. So yeah, just on our way. It's a nice, bright Sunday morning. It is chilly, just come back from Turkey and we need the jumpers, is what it is. Autumn, autumn, autumn is loading. So yeah, I will check back in with you once we are at Bora Market. And this one is oystered up and hopefully I'll have a glass of champagne. <laughs> It's only after 11, so there's some places that actually aren't open, and I don't know if that's because it's the Queen's funeral tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's still busy down here though. Um, yeah, I tell you what, we're surprised about on the train how busy it is. Like, we don't get up that early on the weekends, like ever. And oh my gosh, on the train is so flipping busy at like half past 10. Crazy times. <laughs>
bueno, bueno eating. Okay, so we have had some very, very, very delicious scallops, which I'm gonna have some more because Alex is gonna have his oysters um, after we finish having our drinks. And I'm not an oyster fan. So once we've done that, then I can have some champagne. But at the moment we're having these like really delicious cocktails. So I've got some rum DMC, which is like some rum based cocktail. And Alex has a spin off on an old fashioned. And it's just so nice. So yeah, so we're just chilling at Whiskey Ginger, having a drink, because I had a um, bacon and sausage bat with cheese, like a proper old school dirty bacon and sausage bat, but it was really nice. And Alex had a, okay, and Alex had a cheeseburger, which was also absolutely lovely. So yeah, we're just taking a little break and then the eating and drinking elsewhere will commence. But anyway, I definitely recommend Borough Market on a Sunday because it's such a chill vibe. It's a good vibe as well. And there's just so much to try, eat and buy. Um, so yeah, definitely get down on a Sunday. Hey, Cass, can I take a drink to it? Sparkling. I'm not sure what it is. It's not a champagne. It's like some English sparkling wine, but it's good. All in all, we've had a very good Sunday morning. Always doing life what makes you happy. And eating and drinking makes us very happy. As you can see, this one is like pig in beak beak with his oysters. <laughs> Okay, so now it's home time. Just leaving Borough Market to go home because we actually have to collect our Amazon food shop. Hopefully we'll get back in time and we're not the first ones to um, get our delivery. But yeah, it's just been a great morning. Like, I don't know why I feel so happy about it. Like, there's nothing like out of the ordinary about it. But yeah, anyway, it's just been a lovely Sunday morning. Do I want a... No, because I don't like that day. So basically, Alex was asking if I want a donut from um, Donut Time, but I don't really like or rate their donuts. They're big and pricey, but I don't get what for. I prefer a Krispy Kreme over a Donut Time. Okay. So it's a no from me for the Donut Time, but I do love a donut. So yeah, so now we're going to go home, hopefully catch our Amazon delivery. And Alex is gonna cook a ragu, which is gonna be very sexy. And my mum's just texting me kisses of something, maybe some pictures she sent me. Um, yeah, so he's gonna cook a ragu and then we're just gonna chill out. Okay, so we're back home from what was a fabulous morning and Alex has started the ragu. I think earlier I said something like, he's gonna make a sexy ragu. Apologies, I was clearly a little bit tipsy. I just meant that he's gonna make a nice ragu. There's nothing sexy about the ragu. Anywho, um, we just had like a meet off as I'm gonna call it because um, Alex is very good at cleaning meat um before we eat it but on this occasion it was a little bit too basic for me so when i say meat off i really mean like meat gate so he went to watch a video to see how to clean the meat and it just so happened that it was a west indian person showing him like you know get the lemon out and clean the meat so one nil to me 
<laughs> so yeah and now i'm just gonna chillax i'm gonna watch some youtube videos and still waiting for the famous amazon delivery although mohammed apparently is three stops away and yeah just happy that we get another um day off tomorrow an unexpected day off like when we booked our holiday there was no way we could have anticipated that we would have had a day off tomorrow so that is really nice and it means that this week is gonna be a shorter busy week so that's good but yeah just i came across something earlier today on instagram and it was just in someone's profile and they were saying like you know fear kills more dreams than failure ever will and i really need to hold on to that because I have waited so long to start this YouTube channel, like so long. I cannot tell you, like since last year, Alex has been like, baby, start, start, you're gonna be great. Start, start, start. And although I don't feel great at the moment, I'm loving I'm doing it. I'm loving putting the videos together. Um, and yeah, who knows where I'll end up in terms of how long I'll do it for but I'm just glad that I've started doing it because I really enjoy watching vlogs and I wanted to do my own ones for so long so anyway just to say I'm very happy that I started and I'm gonna hold on to that quote fear really will kill more dreams than failure ever will I'm actually not scared to fail you know there's always a way around failure and failure just feels like such a dirty word. Yeah, at the same time, it's just the fact that we tried something and that didn't work. And then you'll try it a different way and that may work. Or it might not. But so what? But obviously, vlogging and putting it on YouTube is really putting yourself out there. And I think that's the fear part. That's the bit that's really um, stopped me. And I'm not saying that I'm going to share my whole life on here. I just, that's not me. Um, so I can't imagine that I will share everything of my life. But that being said, I don't have loads to to hide. But obviously, I do genuinely believe that there are some things that are just sacred for you, sacred between your relationship, your family. Um, but I'm glad I've started in any event. <laughs>